Hi everyone. Welcome back to the session on uh, nucleic acids. And uh, in the previous uh, presentation, we saw nucleoside, the structure, and uh, nucleic acids, as we have already mentioned, they are polymers of nucleotides. And each nucleotide, it is composed of three main units, that is uh, pentose sugar, it could be ribose or deoxyribose, a nitrogenous base, it could be either uh, purines or a uh, pyrimidin. Then we have phosphoric acid. So, so these three groups, they come together, they bond with each other to form the uh, nucleotide, which polymerizes to produce the nucleic acid. And when a, a pentose sugar binds with a base, a nitrogenous base, we get what is known as a nucleoside. And when nucleoside binds with phosphate molecule, we get a nucleotide. Okay, so we have pentose sugar binding with nitrogenous base, that is what is known as a nucleoside. The nucleoside, when it is bound with a phosphate molecule, we get a nucleotide. Okay, and so we have a complete nucleotide. So nucleotide, it can be defined as uh, the phosphoric acid esters of nucleosides. Okay, they are phosphoric acid esters of nucleosides because as we have already mentioned, it is onto the fifth carbon of the pentose sugar, the phosphate molecule gets bound to. And this bond, it is known as a ester bond. Okay, the 5 prime carbon bound to the, uh, through the oxygen to the phosphorus, it is known as an ester bond. So, this is a phosphoric acid ester of a nucleoside. So, this is the nucleoside. Okay, so it can be defined as a phosphoric acid ester of nucleoside and it is formed by the ester bonding between a nucleoside and phosphoric acid. I hope that is clear. Okay, now monomeric un the monomer units of nucleoti uh, nucleotides, they are linked to form a polynucleotide as in the case of an RNA or a DNA. Okay, so these this kind of nucleotide, it binds with other nucleotides or it uh, actually polymerizes and then we get a chain of nucleotides which is referred as a polynucleotide and it is this polynucleotide which is the base for the formation of a DNA or a RNA. Okay, so uh, we can have two kinds of nucleotides depending upon what kind of pentose sugar it is having. It could be uh, ribonucleotides if it is having a ribose sugar. Uh, or it could be a deoxyribonucleotide if it is having a deoxyribose sugar. Okay, so both uh, ribonucleotides and deoxyribonucleotides are found in the cell, in a cell. Okay, and these occur, the ribonucleotides and deoxyribonucleotides, they occur in free form in a significant amount in cells. So they are, uh, we can find ri uh, the ribonucleotides as well as deoxyribonucleotides freely found in the uh, cell. Okay, now uh, we can see that these uh, ribonucleotides or the deoxyribonucleotides can have a single phosphate molecule attached to, just like it, as in this case. Okay, in that case, we call it as a nucleotide monophosphate because it is having only a single phosphate. Okay, it is a monophosphate. Uh, it can also be present in the form of nucleotide diphosphates where apart from this phosphate molecule, one more phosphate molecule may be attached onto this side. Okay. Similarly, we can have nucleotide triphosphates, okay, where three phosphates in a row will be attached to the 5 prime carbon of the pentose sugar. Okay. So, we can find nucleotide monophosphates, diphosphates, nucleotide triphosphates, in the cell along with nucleic acids. Okay, so uh, we can see that the, uh, these nucleotide uh, uh, phosphates, whether it is uh, monophosphate, diphosphate or triphosphate, that is the nucleotides, they are relatively strong acids. Be, uh, they are uh, strong acids. So what is the nature of acid? The acids can readily give away hydrogen, uh, isn't it, H plus ions. So, basically, these three, O minus, okay, this is also O minus, it is present in OH form. So, phosphoric acid is basically H3PO4, isn't it? So, we will have uh, OH, OH and OH over here, okay, apart from uh, having having a double bond, okay, this is also OH, I'm sorry, this is double bond, okay, so it has to be like this, okay, so it is double bond, 
single bond OH, single bond OH, and uh, before bonding, this also it does in, exists in the form of OH. So that is how the H3PO4 comes up. Okay, so what happens is one of the uh, hydroxyl groups, a hydrogen from the, one of the hydroxyl groups plus OH on the fifth five prime carbon of the pentose sugar. It is released as water, H2O. Okay, and a condensation product that is the ester bond is formed. I hope that part is clear. Okay, now what happens to these hydroxyl groups? They are readily ionizable. Okay, that means they are ready to give away the H plus ions and become, and uh, that is why it is considered to be a strong as acid. Okay, and hence what happens is at a pH of 7, the free nucleotides, that is the uh, uh, like uh, monophosphates, diphosphates and triphosphates, they exist mainly in the form of uh, the nucleoside, oxygen and then the PO3 2 minus. I hope it is clear. PO3 2 negative charge on that. So that is how it exists. Okay, so this is how it is an ionized form. Usually these uh, nucleotides are found in the cell. And all the common ribonucleotides and the deoxyribonucleotides, they occur in cells in all these three forms, diphos monophosphate, diphosphate and triphosphate. And all these forms are usually in ionized manner with two negative charges on the phosphate group. Okay, so I hope that part is clear here. Okay, that is what it is uh, slightly DNA, slightly uh, acidic uh, because of the presence of phosphate group. Okay, that is nucleic acid. Okay, so that is that is that part actually gives the acidic nature to the uh, nucleic acid. Okay, now the uh, phosphoric acid, as we can see, as already mentioned, the three uh, phosphate groups at a maximum uh, on a maximum three phosphate groups in a row can be attached to the five prime carbon of the pento sugar, isn't it? So this is how it will be attached, right? This is a phospho phosphoester bond. As we can see here, this is a phosphate ester bond or the phosphoester bond, right? And this phosphate, it is considered to be the uh, alpha phosphoric um, acid residue. Okay, so this residue, this is alpha, this is beta phosphate, and this is the gamma phosphate. The bond between these, so this is a pyrophosphate, orthophosphate, and here you have the phosphoester bond. Okay, so when... Uh, uh, this uh, what you call the uh, triphosphate uh, in, in a triphosphate condition the uh, nucleotide triphosphates they are uh, ready to uh, take up reactions or uh, get into reactions where it can break this bond and give away give away an inorganic phosphate okay and these inorganic phosphates can be taken up by some other substrates as you can see in many of the glycolytic uh, pathway where for example glucose getting uh, uh, phosphorylated becoming glucose 6 phosphate isn't it and where do this phosphate comes from the phosphate comes from this molecule that is a nucleotide triphosphate one example is atp okay so what happens as a result of removal of the gamma phosphate what happens is it, this nucleotide triphosphate, it will get turned into nucleotide diphosphate. So this kind of a reaction or a cyclic, uh, bit, uh, what you call uh, a change or uh, uh, what you call the uh, cyclic pathway, we can see it in many of the metabolic reactions where the ATP, ADP system or we can say a, uh, what you call nucleotide diphosphate, nucleotide triphosphate, that kind of a cyclic uh, shifting can be seen in many of the uh, metabolic pathways. Okay, so we can see here coming back. So in a nucleotide, this is a nucleotide where the base is attached to the one prime carbon through N glycosidic bond and the 5 prime carbon of the pentose sugar, it is attached to the phosphate molecule 1 or three, one to 3 phosphate molecules uh, by way of phosphoester bonds. So, this will make up the complete nucleotide. Okay. So, as we have already mentioned, there could be two kinds of nucleotides based upon what kind of pentose sugar it is having. If it is having a ribose sugar, it is known as a ribonucleotide and if it is having a deoxyribosugar, we call it as a deoxy. Rib, uh, what do you call a nucleotide okay, deoxyribonucleotide right and each one of these group can be further divided into two based upon what kind of nitrogenous base it is uh, having on the fun prime carbon 
if it is having a purine uh, nitrogenous base the nucleotide becomes uh, like purine um, nucleotide okay purine um, maybe ribonucleotide or purine deoxyribonucleotide here it is a typical example of deoxyribose sugar have uh, in the nucleotide so it is a deoxyribose sugar i mean deoxyribonucleotide and it is having an adenine on, as the nitrogenous base so it is a adenosine dinucleot uh, sorry what you call a, a nucleotide okay then how many number of phosphates only a single so it is a monophosphate so it is typically deoxy adenosine so this is adenosine i hope you remember the nucleoside with having adenine as a sugar uh, sorry nitrogenous base it is re referred as adenosine that's uh, a nucleoside having adenine as its nitrogenous base it is known as adenosine the adenosine it could be adenosine if it is uh, it is named adenosine if it is having a ribose sugar and if it is a deoxyribose sugar with the adenine attached to it it we call it as a deoxy adenosine i hope you remember okay so this is actually a deoxy adenosine attached to monophosphate on the 5 prime carbon so we have is two deoxy adenosine 5 prime monophosphate is it clear the name okay so as we have already mentioned the nitrogenous base is joined uh, it is uh, bound to the 1 prime carbon uh, and uh, it is through the glycosidic bond okay it is n glycosidic bond and the phosphate molecule it is esterified at 5 prime carbon it is through the phosphoester bond so that is about the nucleotide okay uh, this is uh, again adenine containing uh, deoxyribose uh, this nucleotide have an adenine a deoxyribose sugar and three phosphate so it is actually uh, deoxy adenosine 5 prime triphosphate or simply uh, adenosine triphosphate or the atp molecule okay so this is atp coming over here this is cytidine okay this nucleoside is cytidine having a ribose sugar with cytosine as the nitrogenous base there is only one phosphate esterified onto the 5 prime carbon so this is actually a cytidine 5 prime monophosphate okay cytidine it is the nucleoside and the single phosphate it is attached onto the 5 prime carbon so the name comes 5 prime monophosphate is it okay fine now so these are the uh, two different examples adenosine 5 prime monophosphate this nucleoside is adenosine okay the one given in black it is the part of the um, sugar okay it is a ribose sugar and then we have the adenine uh, the nitrogenous base given in pink color and the phosphate molecule given in blue color okay so you can see here this part okay this part is actually adenosine the nucleoside with a, a single phosphate monophosphate onto 5 prime carbon and since it is ribose sugar we call it as a adenosine 5 prime monophosphate when it was a de deoxyribose sugar we named it as deoxy adenosine 5 prime phosphate okay here you have is thymine okay thymine always gets bound to deoxyribose sugar okay we don't have any ribose sugar bound to thymine we will not find thyme uh, what you call uh, ribose sugar binding to thymine so we give the name uh, to the nucleoside as thymidine so this one whole nucleotide it is named as thymidine 5 prime monophosphate or tmp okay likewise we will have different kinds of ribonucleotide uh, ribonucleotides we have already seen the different names of ribonucleosides and deoxyribonucleosides in the previous presentation. Uh, adenine containing uh, ribonucleoside is known as adenosine. Uh, and the ribonucleotide from the adenosine, it is known as adenylic acid. Or it could be, as we have already mentioned, adenosine, 5 prime, monophosphate, diphosphate or triphosphate. Okay, cytidine containing, uh, cytosine containing uh, nucleoside, it is cytidine right ribonucleoside and the ribonucleotide it is uh, termed as cytidylic acid coming to the deoxy sugars the de uh, uh, nucleotides the deoxy adenosine based nucleotide it is deoxy adenylic acid deoxy cytidine based it is known as deoxy cytidylic acid and thymidine we don't need to use deoxy here because thymidine always have deoxy sugar okay so it is thymidine and thymidylic acid you need in specify deoxy even if it is specified it is okay Okay, so these are the various uh, nucleosides and the respective nucleotide. And here all these are ribose, ribose sugar containing. Okay, so this is about the nucleotide. Fine.
ओके थैंक यू